What's going on? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just vlogging. Oh. I'm so sneaky. Anytime I get clips of friends or anything, they don't even realize that I put the damn camera on. Whatever. 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 This is not the morning I like to have. What morning do you like to have? Waking up early, meditating, writing my journal, doing all the good things. Okay, why don't you meditate? I. I have work in 40 minutes. If I'm gonna run, I have to leave it within the next five minutes. Okay, so maybe you should meditate thing. at work. I can drink this thing, make a duty, and go. <laughs> so why don't you? Oh yeah, I will meditate at work later. It's just not the same. Well, guess what? what? There's always tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. On all your good days, do you remember all the past bad days? Huh? <laughs> like this will blow over. What is it gonna blow over to? Someone else is home. No. And they're going to have a bad day. I don't want them to have a bad day. I love them. No. I love everyone. We all have to have bad days. Is the point. Hi. And life is so complicated. Can be okay. Yeah. Stretchy like a wolf. What? <laughs> and the amazing energy they provide. I'm so glad you actually love them. Because I was hooked on them before, remember? Yeah. For rumble training. These e-boosts are so good. Tell them about it. So good. It's a good alternative for coffee for me because sometimes coffee gives me acid reflux in the morning because I drink it on an empty stomach. And um, this doesn't give me as much of that. And it coffee flavor. It has way less juice than like a Celsius. It has less than 1% juice. It's like electrolytes, L-theanine, like all these great green tea extract. Like you're actually adding nutrients to your body. Vitamins. Yeah, chocolate stuff. Turkey my boost and then heading to the gym. I have an Equinox pass for a few days, a guest like trial pass. So I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm addicted to these. Like, I don't know how I work out without them. It's terrible. I had a cup of coffee and now I'm having this. But it's natural, like green tea. Caffeine has electrolytes, vitamins, antioxidants. So I feel like it's good for me. It's not like I'm chugging eight Celsius's before. I'm obsessed and now I'm getting scared. So I'm gonna go to the gym. Going to the Equinox on the High Line, passing Chelsea Market. I'm so excited for holiday season because Chelsea Market has like all these gorgeous flea markets and all the lights. I'm so excited. You can always tell when there's tourists here because they're staring at like fire trucks and things that are you're so used to as a New Yorker. Like these fire trucks were just fixing a pipe and you see all these tourists like waiting around seeing what what the like all the hoop flies with the fire trucks like oh what's happening like no there's shit happening on every corner here at all times it's 9 45 so i'm hoping i beat the big gym crowd and i can have some more room A little less crowded. You can't come in here. It's 11.10 and I have an interview at 11.30 on Zoom. Luckily, I slicked back my hair so I can just like touch up the slick back, throw on some mascara and call it a day. I'm pretty prepared for it. 
So, you know when you're in interview mode, you're just like prepared at all times, so. Just rushing home for that. I did a Sydney Cummings video, and oh, it's just the best way to get a workout in the gym because she's so motivating. And the music that she puts on really helps because sometimes I don't like doing a video in the gym because I'm like, I need music to hype me up, but she's so motivating and has great hype up music, so it was great. I don't know, it's definitely time to belong to a gym, so hopefully I can get a full-time job that can fund that. All right, I ran home, did a new slicked bun, and just had my job interview. It went really well. I'm not like, maybe this sounds bad, I'm not like dying for the job. I'm definitely more interested in the other ones. I did get an offer from a really cool job this morning, which is really exciting, but the one I'm really waiting on, of course the one I want is in Austin, Texas, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to, hopefully they get back to me today and I'll buy some more time with this other job that's also a great offer. And I also had my TV hosting class last night. Let me get my oatmeal, I'm starving. Um, luckily I meal prepped a little last night. I had my TV hosting class last night and the last two weeks, it left me feeling like, oh my God, I thought I was so much better at this. Like I was just like down on myself. And then last night the assignment was to interview someone, which we all know I'm comfortable with because of um, my podcast. And then also like a panel type of, like the view type of thing. We had like hot topics and all had to pretend we were basically auditioning for a panel talk show, which I would never really want to do, I don't think, but still good practice. I got unreal feedback on both. Like literally they had no notes. They gave me such amazing feedback and compliments. And I was like, okay, we're back in the game. Cause you know, you get like, you catastrophize and you're like, wait, why don't they like me? Maybe I'm not good at this. Like, it's so ridiculous, but maybe interviewing is my thing. I don't know. It's definitely making me think more and more about starting the podcast again, which I'm definitely going to do because I really want to, um, but I'm just waiting to move upstairs so I can like set up a little, just like a better setup up there. Once I move up there, we'll have a little podcast space and we can start the podcast back up again. In a different way though. I want to do a lot more in person and honestly this exercise I had to do for a podcast I was um, applying for a job with I had to make like graphics for them TikToks and I was like wait I could do my reels so much better for my podcast so got inspired and I'm excited to get back into that so now I have an hour and a half before I have a few in informational interviews with people that work at companies that I have applied for I'm going to edit and post a brand deal I have for eBoost I'm gonna prep for these calls I have come up with some really good like thoughtful questions I'm not wasting their time I just put this away I didn't use it yet I opened it up talked to you guys and put it away <laughs> pardon me when that ticks on pardon me all right, I had some some meetings. I don't even know where I last left you, but I've just been editing, meeting, a bunch of stuff. I don't think I spoke about this on YouTube yet, only TikTok, but I ordered Kourtney Kardashian's Lemmy gummies. I have the chill ones and I have the focus ones. Let me just tell you, they are amazing. They taste amazing. And they have ingredients in them that like most gummies don't have and they don't have corn syrup or anything like that. I mean, if Kourtney Kardashian's making them, like obviously they're really good for you. They have like lion's mane mushrooms, MCT oil, and they taste really good. And they're really cute. I'm obsessed. These are underrated. Why is not everyone talking about them? All right, I'm leaving in 15 to get coffee and go to Rumble. I'm just quickly making final edits on my YouTube video, my vlog. did not intro the last two vlogs with welcome back to my community and it's keeping me haunted at night. Few updates, one, I cannot stop thinking about podcasting. I am ready to go back into it, but I'm really wanting to do them in person. The idea of sitting in this dark corner and zooming people for my podcast is not exciting me. I definitely want to like spice it up, change things up, do things in person. So I'm just waiting to move upstairs so I can make it, just like redecorate, get in there, and then make it conducive for recording. I could rent out a space, but 
I kind of want the background to be consistent because I have all these ideas for posting TikToks and so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will rent a space, we'll see. So much on my mind, I feel so in limbo, but here we are, drink some cold barrel. I'm gonna edit or finish uploading a vlog this morning. I think it's pretty much edited, I just need to come up with a thumbnail and get it up. So that is like my, my you've seen it by now and if you haven't, go watch it. It's like a 30 minute vlog if you like to sit down and have a vlog in the background um, while you work or whatever like I do. I love a long vlog. You can listen to that one. And I have a long vulnerable chat in there that made it that long. I was considering making a separate video, but. So I'm gonna drink this coffee and go upload that vlog and make the thumbnail and then we'll figure out our gym routine for the day. It's a Friday, I woke up at eight today. I don't know, I don't have my routine. I have my routine down in the sense that like I wake up, I meditate, I figure out my workout, but yeah, it's Halloween weekend and I have no interest in going out. There's a few things I could do and like I have people to go out with. I just, I'm going to Tulum next weekend for a bachelorette. I'll be there for two days, then I'm flying home for Ethan's marathon. That'll be a really fun weekend to vlog actually. Hopefully I will. We'll see if everyone's okay with it. Um, and then the weekend after, it's Ethan and mine's 11th anniversary on 11-11-11, and we're going to New Orleans. So, lots coming up, lots of drinking, lots of energy, so I'm kind of just like, do I want to do Halloween weekend? Probably not. But then again, I have like red hair, I should be Kim Possible. All right, I'm rambling. Let's get to work. sitting here editing, doing all the things for a while. I made breakfast. I also was at Rumble the end half of yesterday. I didn't film that, I'm sorry. I am setting this up now, then I'm heading to Pilates class SLT. It's a Friday afternoon. One of my best friends, Barry, you saw her um, wedding and bachelorette party on here, is in the city. So I'm gonna meet her for lunch. She's never in the city, so we have to take advantage when she's here. Gonna meet her for lunch, come back, finish up more work, and then I'm gonna get a free acupuncture session actually. So half and half day, I'm like being social, doing some self care, but also I've been at this computer doing a lot. So getting this video up now, I'm really proud of it. It's a 30 minute video and it's just like, just like a good vlog. I don't know how else to explain. Um, okay, I gotta go to SLT, let's go. Oh, it's freaking cold out. I felt really good in that class. I think when you don't take, like I took a little break and just did train training in the gym and I think it honestly made me enjoy the Pilates more and I didn't feel in as much pain. I think straight up strength training in the gym is honestly like best for your body along with Pilates, but mega form of Pilates can feel really aggressive and it, it didn't today, so that was nice. Um, okay, I'm going to grab lunch with Barry and Sabrina's coming and there's a lot of people looking at me because it's a Friday afternoon in the fall in New York City and I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> Okay, if you're ever in New York City, the best brunch, it's my favorite, it's called Banter. I feel like I've maybe shown this before. You have to get the golden folded eggs. Yeah, where are they? Oh wait, he's calling me back. 
Did we need to do her out? I just took out the garbage on my way out. I'll find it. Ethan? Pud speaker. What are these yeah, for? Nice. Why? Yes. I don't know. Wait, that is the cutest thing you've ever done. Yeah, as clear as the other one we have, and we put this in there. We're already on it. Good job. Wait, Ethan, that is the sweetest thing ever. Thanks, Jen. Ethan, no, thank you, you win, you win, you win. You win. <laughs> You're the best, Ethan. Barry says you win. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. that's why you did it. Ethan, that is the sweetest thing ever. Good. I love you. That's that's a, a, oh, this is a pretty one. That's the sweetest Nice. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I was looking for a note. <laughs> I was like, what? There is no note. <laughs> yeah. This is it. Thank you so much. I, I love it. You should add this. Yeah. You're the sweetest. It makes it. So add it or not? You're the sweetest. Good. <laughs> yes, Good. Good. I'm going to keep that one. You think it's still? No, we just got to cut them. Where is it at? Oh, in the bottom. Yeah. Oh. Let's keep it. Okay. All right, in a huge rush, going into my room to put socks on. Never film in here because of the lighting, clearly. What else is new? Um, I'm running now to Aura, which is an acupuncture here in New York City. They offered me a free session. I actually did it with them for a month acupuncture and filmed a video of my results after 30 days. I haven't done acupuncture since because it's so expensive, but they invited me in to promote it on social media. So I'm going, I decided a Friday afternoon would be a good time to do it. I'm gonna try to like meditate, think while I sit there with the needles in me and hopefully not get too anxious because sometimes sitting there with needles poking out of you can lead to anxiety, believe it or not. Um, I really have to go. But Ethan, we all run, ran home from lunch because Ethan was like, Jen, there's a delivery person at the door like, I thought you were home, I'm sorry, but like, can you go get the door? So I get home and there were flowers waiting for me. I called Ethan and he was just, I was like, why? Cause our anniversary is in two weeks. So I was like, maybe he wanted to surprise me early. I don't really know. But he was like, just because. That is the sweetest thing ever. Like we've been together 11 years and that is not something he typically does. It's not like, oh, I'm used to it. He gets me flowers all the time. Like that's not like our thing which kind of means that much more that he thought to do it. I love him. Okay, let's go get acupuncture. I'm so glad I just checked. I like went into my email to be like, hmm, what, like, what content am I creating again? Let me like double check what I have to film. And then I realized my last communication with the PR person was, oh, like we can't book your appointment until you sign this. And I asked them a question about what I was signing and she never answered me and I totally forgot. I had just put, the appointment on my calendar. So I just called the acupuncture studio and was like, hey, am I on the schedule for four o'clock today or no? And she was like, no, but there's a lot of availability. So like, feel free, we can get you in. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wait until this PR girl answers me. And I didn't have to kick my friends out. That's so annoying. But you wanna see the flowers you think got me while we're here? Aren't they gorgeous? Like they actually are stunning. Sabrina obviously cut them up for me and put them all together nicely, but so pretty. I'm gonna do some voiceovers for TikToks that I have to like just quickly edit. I honestly don't know where I left you, but it's Monday and I'm gonna start a new vlog. I just started reading yesterday like all the comments on the new video that like the last vlog I posted on why not me mentality and just wanted to say thank you for being so vulnerable and commenting that you relate it's such an it feels like such a niche experience but the reminder that we're all going through it in some capacity some industry some way or another is always super helpful so it just reminds me like to be vulnerable about this stuff online I'm never hiding it I just Sometimes I'm having the thought during therapy or just during a time where I'm not vlogging and it was nice to just kind of like, I like debriefing after therapy honestly and I'm about to start the next vlog and I have therapy today so who knows what epiphanies I'll have today but I'm just very much in limbo right now and with that comes a lot of emotions and doubts and insecurities and 
imposter syndrome and all the things. So it makes me want to start my podcast again. I'm so eager to start it, guys. But I just have like new standards for when I start it again. And I'm waiting to go upstairs into the new apartment. I just have different standards for it. I could just start uploading some like solo episodes audio only in the meantime. If any of you guys even listen to the podcast here on YouTube, let me know if you would like some solo episodes every week and let me know because I could just start doing that in the meantime. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I'm so happy you're here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you made it until the end of the video, comment down below if you could live in any other city and all of your family and friends would move there with you and your job would move there with you. What city would you move to? It's making me think. I feel like mine's Nashville, but you tell me. Okay, I'll see you next week.